Hi guys, I'm Lauren Vitali, and on this episode of Lauren in the Kitchen, I'm gonna share with you how to make the most delicious green bean almondine, which is essentially a very simple green beans tossed in a buttery almond situation. Um, that's pretty fabulous. I like to make some crispy shallots and garlic to top this with because I think texture is everything, and I think balance between the sweetness and the nuttiness from the almonds, the freshness of lemon, and then some really delicious, pungent yet mild flavor from the crispy shallots and garlic is incredible. So, I wanna share it with you. I mentioned this on Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, I hope that you do. The link is down below. Um, I'm sharing a lot of different things with you over this holiday season to hopefully give you some ideas on how to make something really special scaled down. So, last year I shared with you how to make side dishes for Thanksgiving that feeds 20 people. This year we're gonna feed about six. Uh, we're gonna have much smaller gatherings, a few of them, and instead of a green bean casserole, you might wanna think of something a little bit lighter, something a little bit easier, and I think this dish is absolutely perfect. It's also perfect for any side dish ever. So let's get going on the shallots, okay? I'm gonna take a couple of shallots and I'm going to slice them pretty thinly. I'm gonna show you what I mean. I'm just gonna cut the ends off so I can peel the outer layer. We're gonna slice them really, really thinly, and then I'm gonna put them in a skillet uh, with some cold olive oil, about three to four tablespoons of cold olive oil. You could look at this recipe in two parts, by the way. You can make some really crispy shallots and garlic with that garlic shallot oil that you can use for lots of other things because you will have some left over, and you can just make the green bean and almond mixture for your green bean almondine. That way you're kind of getting like a two for one, you know what I mean? But all I'm going to do is I'm going to take my shallots, I'm going to slice them thinly, just like that, and I'm gonna do the same thing to a few cloves of garlic. I'm just gonna slice them thinly and I'm going to put them in a cold skillet with olive oil. Slicing my garlic, I'm gonna go ahead and put them right into the skillet with my shallots, and then I'm gonna add some olive oil and then just let them all heat up together and just sizzle and frizzle and get all yummy and crispy and delicious. It's really incredible. This is something really great to do um, to top vegetables, to top salads, to top anything, any like plain greens, whatever your heart desires. And like I said, you can skip the step if you want to, uh, or you can just saute some shallots and garlic with your almonds, but I just think, you know me. If I feel like the extra step is worth it, I'm gonna do it. I hate extra steps, I hate sifting flour, I hate lots of little things like that, but if it's worth doing, I'm gonna do it. And then, like I said, if you wanna make more of this and then just store it in the fridge and then you have deliciousness that you can add to anything, that's even better. So once this looks the way that I want it to, then we move forward. My shallots and garlic are just crispy and wonderful. I just pour them all into this little bowl and as they cool, they will get even crispier. Uh, fabulous, they smell absolutely incredible. So now let's talk green beans. I like using French green beans. You can use any green bean that you like, but I like a French green bean over a regular green bean anyway because it's nice and thin. It's um, more tender, I just like it. And I have them trimmed and have those ready. I've got some boiling water, I've got some water coming up to a boil. You wanna salt the water well, uh, because that's the only time we're adding salt to this recipe. We're not gonna add salt any other time except for the water, because the only thing that you need to salt is the green beans themselves. So, that's coming to a boil. It's only gonna take the green beans two minutes. They're only gonna be in the boiling water two minutes. Then we're going to drain them and shock them under cold water because we wanna stop them from cooking any further. So instead of getting the almonds and everything ready now, I like to get my green beans out of the way only because I wanna have the green beans ready so that there's no risk of overcooking them. So in here, I've got some sliced almonds, I've got some butter, and I'm just gonna go ahead and get the green beans into the boiling water, cook them a couple minutes, drain and rinse them, and I'll be back here, and then we pretty much pull the whole thing together. Green beans are done. You can see they're beautiful bright green. I only cook mine. I actually ended up cooking them two and a half minutes. Um, you can cook them as long as you want. I just don't like a real like soggy, soft green bean, so I like them nice and crisp nice and green. I'm just melting my butter in a large skillet um, over about medium heat. I don't want this to be too hot because when I do go to add my almonds, I don't want my almonds to burn, right? So 
Green bean amandine, classically a French dish. It's literally green beans tossed in a buttery almond goodness. And depending on what recipe you get or you read, some people add shallots and garlic, lemon, lots of other things like herbs and whatever. I like to keep it pretty simple, but I think this is kind of like the best. I don't know why, but I just think it lets every single component shine. And I think that's really important. So this is how I like it. And I think you will too. Go ahead and get that butter melted. I don't want to turn it too brown right now because I really want to get it toasty with the almonds. And obviously, you can definitely scale this recipe down. I'm cooking up a whole pound of green beans, which I think will make a perfect side dish for about six people. Um, but hey, scale down, scale up. Add your almonds. And now you're just going to go ahead and cook the almonds in the butter until everything becomes like a lovely nutty golden color. You want to keep things moving. You don't want your heat up too high because once you start burning things and they become bitter. And we don't want bitter. Go ahead and just give it a tossy toss. You can see the brown butter. The, the butter has gone lovely nutty golden brown. The almonds are lightly brown. I don't want to take them too far, so I'm going to go ahead and add my green beans. Woo! Tossy toss. Yes, only a minute. This is only going to take like a minute or so just to toss the green bean in that beautiful nutty brown butter and almonds and it's just so good. Oh, it's so good. Just a great, great side dish to any entree, but I also think it's kind of really perfect for a holiday table. Let's be serious. I'm just going to go ahead and toss this all around while warming things through, because remember, we shocked the green beans. So the green beans are cold and they're going to get hot again. So constantly moving and tossing. A um, couple minutes. It will not take very long, but you want to just keep things moving because you don't want the almonds to burn. The heat is down to a medium low. And now we're just going to keep tossing. I'm going to taste for seasoning. That's good. I could use a tiny bit more salt down. I mean, I told you earlier, we're not going to add any more salt, but I could have added more salt in the water. It's okay. It's all right. It's always best to go a little bit under than over, right? Mmm, so good. Squeeze of limon. I like it because it really brings everything back to life, you know? Heat off. Oh, this is fantastic. It smells so good. And now you plate. And it's very simple. Very easy. I think you'll love it. You can use any platter. You can serve it right out of the pan. Don't matter to me as long as you're serving it, right? So good. Ooh, and I definitely am one of those people that goes heavy on the almonds because I think the flavor is so fantastic. I don't want to miss out on it. So go heavy on the almonds. I use a full half cup for one pound. <laughs> you can use less. So I don't. Doesn't really matter. Okay, get this all on here. And now, oh yeah, I'll leave the rest bit in there for me to snack on. You hear that? You hear my mic? Oh, oh, buddy. Yes, my love. My love is going to be so good. And then just because we have it, a little lemon zest on the top. That is fantastic. Fit for a holiday table. Oh, which one to get? It's okay. Mm. That is heaven. The crunch, that's perfect. Great on any table, holiday table or not, easy. You will love it. Laura in the kitchen, I can put the recipe. Hope you enjoyed spending time with me. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.